Despite reports of a growing rift between diaspora Jews and Israel, a recent survey has found that an overwhelming majority of American Jews describe themselves as pro-Israel, and similar numbers say their attachment to Israel is as strong or stronger than it was five years ago. At the same time, the poll found that more than half of respondents define themselves as pro-Israel, but are also critical of Israeli policy. The survey of 2,500 U.S. Jews was conducted for the Ruderman Family Foundation by the Melman Group and was issued ahead of a conference that President Reuven Rivlin will this week lead, all in the family, to strengthen Israel-Diaspora relations. Speakers at the conference will include a range of figures and experts from around the Jewish world, including author Nicole Krauss, retired Justice Eliakim Rubinstein, Olympic medalist Arik Zahavi, and many others. The Rutterman Family Foundation is among the supporters of the conference. We heard more about the event and the survey from Rutterman Family Foundation Director Shira Rutterman. So the purpose of this survey was to, um, to do two main things. Number one, to um, once in a while we uh, check not just the awareness, but the positions of different sectors in the Jewish community. Uh, due to the work that we do in strengthening the relationship, this time it was a much heavier and more wide survey. We uh, had 2,500 participants, which is very large to service in this area. Um, and we found, I think, something that was um, very interesting and important. We see that the majority of the American Jewish community view themselves as very connected to Israel and pro-Israel. Um, and it's a good finding because uh, we hear in the last few years about the trends um, and the changes in the American Jewish community towards Israel uh, with regard to their relationship to Israel. And here we go and we find that, you know, most of them actually feel connected. They do feel more critical. They do think that their um, position is not necessarily aligned with how they want to see Israel. Uh, but they do not feel removed or disconnected. And I think this is a very important aspect of uh, what we all need to emphasize, that there is no growing apart in terms of relationship. There is more critical view, and therefore they feel at times, you know, more... Uh, aligned with different views or political views that Israel puts forward. But I think this is a reasonable uh, situation to have while you don't live in the country or you view things, you know, from a different value perspective. Okay, so we have different views and we don't see things the same. I think it's not um, the end of the world, but understanding that we are viewing Israel from the same perspective as an important part of our identity, important part of our relationship, um, it is very important. And I would like to share that news to more American and Israeli organizations working in this area can start to stress a positive uh, reinforcement about the relationship and the connection. Did you notice that the support of Israel was something that existed among all the different streams of Judaism, whether it be uh, respondents who identified as Orthodox or conservative? Yes. Yes, we can see that all streams are pro-Israel. There is a difference between how their views when it comes to the streams, uh, but they're all very supportive and feel that they are pro-Israel with the views that they hold. You know, I think that uh, how we feel and what we think about a certain either policy or situation is a bit complex because it is due to our, our identity, our views, our ideology. But this is a starting base to say that all streams feel connected, all streams feel like the pro-Israel. Can we now try to find ways to make sure that uh, the younger generation um, is also more knowledgeable, understand the facts, understand uh, the reasons about certain uh, situations that Israel is finding itself. I think this is more of an education perspective, um, and we can definitely find better ways to make sure that they are not just emotionally connected, but also 
uh, knowledge-wise, they know what they talk about and why certain things uh, the way they are. But those things still for Israel is, I think, very good news. And you mentioned that there was criticism at the same time. What were the wedge issues for those surveys? I think, you know, one of the aspects um, obviously falls into something that we are all aware of, that the fact that Israel is very, uh, what do you call, pro-Americans and the relationship between the prime minister to the uh, president of the United States drift some of the emotions here. Yes, the polls obviously, um, I think, catches the fact that they are not aligned and comfortable necessarily with the political relationship um, that Israel has with the president due to the fact that he does not necessarily represent their domestic views uh, when it comes to U.S. matters. Okay, I think, uh, you know, the polls obviously shows that this exists and there is a gap between how we in Israel feel towards the relationship with the President of the United States versus American Jewry. And I think we need to understand in Israel at least and in American Jewry, what are the reasons? Uh, we view it from very Israeli security perspective and we do not view it broadly when it comes to domestic uh, uh, American issues. And this gap, I think, will remain. What is important and we need to focus on is to make sure Israel is not being seen by political views only, that uh, it's not just for one side of the political spectrum. It has to be apolitical or bipartisan issue. And this is where we need to focus. And I think and here we have a lot of challenges how to address this issue. Now, will some of those issues be addressed uh, later this week? There's a conference coming up all in the family uh, that the President Reuven Rivlin will be involved in and that the Ruderman Family Foundation is also involved in. Correct. This um, gathering and conference with the President uh, presents a different view a little bit about how we at the Ruderman Family Foundation with uh, uh, hopefully um, our partners I would like to see the relation. It has to be a broad conversation. It has to be outside of the political spectrum in order to make it not a political issue. And the relationship between American Jewry and the State of Israel is not a political issue. We also wanted to bring to the conversation very diverse voices that usually are not presented in this conversation. What do I mean by that? We do not have the usual suspect bill. It's not a professional that work in this issue. It is not the politicians. It is actually experts from sorts of fields, from academia, uh, law, um, uh, literature, medical, that coming forward, science and, and sports and many others, the entertainment world in Israel, that coming forward, we identify um, a lot of influencers in their expertise, and we ask them to come and say how they can be a voice and strengthen their relationship because when they present either a finding in the scientist world or the medical or when we have a gold medal Olympus that, you know, win uh, a gold medal, they don't just represent themselves. They actually represent Israel. They feel representing the Jewish people. How can we broaden the conversation and bring their voices in and make it more diverse by age, by race, by gender, and not to keep it just in the professional hands or the hands of the politicians, which I think impact the relationship, the identity, the connections that we all want to uh, feel and, and be part of. And therefore, we decided to have this at the President House um, with a very different vibe and to present a very diverse um, voices around this issue. So the idea is to forge connections in different points of contact, not necessarily, as you mentioned, the political uh, level? Correct. It's more on the civil level. How different people from the civil sector that, you know, are working day and night in their issue and becoming leaders in what they do, how they can contribute 
how do they feel? What does it mean to them when they are in the situations that they represent Israel and the Jewish people? How they can bring and help to maybe shape the conversation differently than what we experience it today? And I think this will be the beginning of many other um, gatherings, not just at the Ruderman Family Foundation, at the the field of, of strengthening the relationship among the American Jewish organizations, the Israeli organizations, to start strengthening the positive voice, to bring the conversation to uh, a personal experience, to make it more positive, and to show that we can strengthen the relationship beyond what we know today. Shira Ritterman, director of the Ritterman Family Foundation.